Hello everyone, this is White Wolf, and we are live once again, and I just wanted to get on here and I wanted to talk about authenticity and what does it mean to be authentic and what does it mean to really be truthful and to be able to teach and reflect in a way that is of wisdom, in a way that is of balance, and you're not coming from the unconscious mind, but you're coming from the higher self. You're channeling the higher self, and as you're channeling that mind, body, and spirit, you're allowing yourself to be true, to be raw, to be authentic, and you're allowing yourself to deliver in a sincere way because you are not telling people what they want to hear, but you're telling people what they need to hear, and you're reflecting the light of source back into them. You're allowing them to see through the eyes of God once again. You're allowing them to be fully aligned to their vibration again by the very fact that you're choosing to be authentic in every way that you live your life, the way that you go to the store, the way that you dress yourself, the way that you carry yourself, the way that you're being charismatic, the way that you're being sincere, and you're being loving in a way that when you're being authentic, you're not drawing energy from other light workers, but you're drawing energy from your own source of creation. So you have to understand that you are drawing from the source of all things and you're channeling the source of all things. So you can absolutely cut the tension with a knife and you can cut past all of the BS, all of the other stuff that does not matter. And you're able to wholeheartedly channel the divinity within you because everything is divinely orchestrated in the way that you have divine obedience. Because you're obedient to the divine and you're allowing the divine to be channeled through you to do everything by the divine to know that everything that you do is not coming from unconscious thoughts, emotions, sense perceptions, and sensations that come from distortion. You're coming from the sense of all things. You're coming from the source of creation, and you're allowing yourself to know that everything is multiplied, and you're tapping into multiplicity because you're able to tap into everything. You're able to tap into every aspect of yourself, and you're able to be so aligned with truth that everything that you do is of that essence of truth, of that essence of mind, of that essence of body. And you allow yourself to be that divine essence, that aura that can penetrate through all of the distortions and the illusions and all the things that make us suffer, all the things that doesn't allow us to be authentic. And when we don't allow ourselves to be authentic, we are actually suppressing the source of all things. We're suppressing what we really want to do out of our lives. We're suppressing and compressing it. But then once we do that, we push ourselves out of our comfort zone because we're willing to be authentic. We're willing to be authentic in every single aspect of our life. And by using that divine expression of authenticity, you will realize that in the heat of the moment, you will always say what really allows you to be on fire that allows you to be in full tilt, that allows you to be fully empowered to say what needs to be said, even though that you will be negatively perceived. Because it's not based on the perception of others, and it's not based on how someone got upset about how your higher self was directing the message. So every time that I go live here, I'm being directed by my higher self, and I'm channeling the human source of God as I'm channeling that higher self within my own body, the mind-body-spirit complex, like Jesus, in a sense. Jesus was God in human form. That's what everybody is. That's everybody's representation of source creation. So understanding that when you're being authentic, you are cutting past anything that is going to give you a sense of lack, a sense of worry, a sense of distortion, a sense of hesitation, because now you're willing to be authentic to the core because you're allowing yourself to not be a part of the lies, to be a part of the deceit, and not believing in things instead of really knowing them, instead of having trust, instead of having faith. We cannot be authentic if we don't have faith in ourselves, if we don't have faith in our spiritual journey, if we don't have faith in the realm of possibility, but also just in the realm of being of service to people and saying a message and it's up to people to resonate with that message or not. It's not at the end of the day for me to judge people. At the end of the day, it's just me following my alignment, following my vibration, and following the guidance from spirit to go on here and talk to you all and to allow yourselves to get that sense of encouragement and empowerment 
and then see like that fucking resonates. Well, I want to do that. I want to start my own business. I want to buy that new car. I want to go after whatever I want to go after in my life. And that's being authentic. That's being real. That's being true. And we don't need to draw energy from our brothers and sisters. We can draw from our own source of creation. We can draw from the source of all things. We can draw from God's source energy. We're not here to be spiritual vampires, but we're here to observe and we're also here to receive. But we're not here to absorb. I think that's the key word. We're here to be ourselves. We're here to be aligned within our vibration. We're here to be white wolf. You're here to be who you are and what represents that in this lifetime. So use what God gave you and use all the tools that you have that are, that are at your disposal and absolutely just go with it. Because being authentic means that you don't follow someone's teachings, that you don't follow a specific master, that you follow with what absolutely resonates with you, what makes you feel powerful, what aligns you to your God will power, and then you just emanate that power, that light of source, that light of awareness, that oracle of love, light, and wisdom that is in search of wanting to discover every part of itself, all of the mechanics, all of the ways that it can create and generate and subtract and add and do all these different things and being able to hone its psychic abilities but also be able to be the fountain of youth and also be an endless bountiful provision of truth. So when you allow yourself to do that, you will always know what to say. You will always know where to go. You will always know where your message will land. And sometimes it's just having that fire lit under you to go for it. And I don't think that I would be giving this message if I didn't become my own authentic resonance. If I didn't find my own voice, I would not be here today. If I did not find who I was, who I was in search for, and how I needed to tap in to that source of creation within myself. I would not be delivering this message because when people, when light workers are going about this journey and they're not able to be themselves, when you're not able to speak your truth, when you're not able to showcase your gifting, when you're not able to really do what the hell you want to do without feeling like there's a barrier or a consequence, now, a lot of people will take this and misconstrue it, but meaning that you have to truthfully feel as if there's no consequences. You have to feel like you cannot fail. You have to feel like there is no winning or losing, that there are no mistakes, and that we're here to be empowered by the journey itself. And we can't do that when we're not being authentic. That's why I always get on here. And I always try my best to be real, to be authentic, to go with the vibe and go with the flow. And I don't get on here to tell people what they want to hear. I tell people what they need to hear and what my higher self wants to be delivered. That's divine obedience. That's divine orchestration. That's being led by the divine. That's taking a step out in faith because you allow yourself to follow it. You allow yourself to follow that breadcrumb trail and you allow yourself to be the empowerment of everything. You allow yourself to be powerful in the way that you charge your energy. You are like the car that can charge itself, that can drive itself. And it's just a matter of if you're going to allow yourself to be on cruise control, are you going to allow yourself to be authentic? To not be afraid to speak your mind, to not be afraid to implement boundaries. That's the true testament of our journey. Because sometimes, and even when we implement boundaries and we have people shout at us or people attack us online, we can be able to reflect back to them in a loving, sincere, and wisdom oriented way in a holy spirited flow. So we can allow ourselves to. Not feel like we have to respond, but feel like if I do respond, can I show kindness? Can I show respect? Can I show love for the other entity? Because at the end of the day, if we're just spewing hate back and forth, back and forth, then we have lost the narrative. Then we have lost 
what was the whole point of being a light worker in the first place. It was to be authentic. It was to be you. It was to finally live your life the way that you want to live your life for the very first time. And it does not matter. You can start today. Every day is a new day. Every day is a shot at redemption. Every day you wake up in the morning is a new day in and of itself. It's out with the old and in with the new. And what's next? What can I do next? What's going to happen next? I don't know. But I am present because I'm not lingering within two places. But I am lingering and I am omnipresent in all ways and every place and all the time. That can shatter the hourglass of time. So I feel like a lot of the times when we're doing videos or we're doing lives and all these other things, it's not just to hear ourselves talk. It's not here to just do meditations. But we're here to answer the call. That's authenticity, is answering the call of your life. If you know that something is calling you and it's drawing you to this understanding, to this wisdom, to this journey, then answer that call and accept the opportunity courageously. Because even if we get on here sometimes and we repeat certain phrases or we like some people are like, oh, you just talk about the same thing. But there's always a different sentiment. There's always something different about your messages or there's always something different about what you're doing now or maybe that you have a different job. Maybe you have a completely different reality, how you're expressing yourselves. You just sent your kids to college or whatever it may be. But the very fact that you were authentic and you wanted that new slice of life, you wanted the slice of pie. Who doesn't love apple pie? Who doesn't love pecan pie? Well, you have to treat life like it's blueberry pie. <laughs> okay? So, you have to look at your life as if it is blueberry pie. But you have to make life delicious. You have to make life almost irresistible. You have to make life so fun and so imaginative and so creative and so fun to the point where you're a kid and you finally have your innocence again and you're finally empowering yourself by using that inner child within yourself to be authentic to the core. Because being authentic really means that someone will always not resonate with you. Or there will be people who will think that what you're doing or how you're doing it or how you're delivering it or how you're doing your meditations is wrong. But is a gift from God wrong? Because there is no right or wrong. But your gift from God is beautiful. Your gift from God is unique. And you are your own kind of beautiful. And you're the same kind of beautiful as me. So, you have to understand that by being authentic, what you're doing, really, is that you're being so truthful that it shakes the earth to its core. That the universe knows that it's truth, knows that everything in your life that you have gone through this f thus far has been leading you and allowing you to heal your trauma, to heal the relationships here, to heal the financial struggles here, because that's what we're all going through. We can't be authentic and be prosperous if we're always thinking that we're lacking of something. If we go to the store and we feel like we can't get that thing that we really want, then we'll never have it. So it's the same thing with you know, prosperity, wanting to heal, wanting to have more self-care, wanting to have more healing in our life, worthiness. It's all the same thing, but it's just a different sentiment, and it's just giving it a whole lot more meaning. So if you give things more meaning, and you make it more meaningful, you will find your purposeful purpose. <laughs> that was a mouthful for me, um, saying that. So, finding your purposeful purpose means that you have a purpose and that you're here to exist. Because existence has all these transcendent reasons to be here. It's not unconscious reasons. It's not deceitful reasons. It's not giving your power to the matrix. But 
how can you make your own quantum matrix within yourself? You're here to live in your own matrix. It doesn't, you know, you can take, you know, I know that the red pill and blue pill and stuff like that, and I get that, but at the end of the day, it's your choice. Rather, you want to live a life of abundance, success, happiness, joy, resonance, truth, authenticity, and being raw and going with it, even if people think that you're doing too much or you have too much flair or this or that, it doesn't matter. It does not matter. Have all the flair. Be flamboyant. Be absolutely crazy. Go with it. Just flow with it. Go with the flow, and if it's not in flow, then it's a big fat no-no. That's been a thing I've said for three years. If it's not in flow, it's a big fat no-no. It's a big fat eh, no, not a zip, no. It's a big no. If we're saying no to ourselves all the time, if we say no to blessing ourselves all the time, then we can say no to the very fact that, no, I want to be blessed. No, I want to be prosperous. No, I want to empower myself. No, I want to be authentic and I want to tell that person how I feel in a respectful, loving way and not in a distorted, reactive way, but a proactive way. You know, And, and it's like quitting my job or having the faith to know that my kids are going to be okay. I'm going to put my kids through college. Everything's going to be fine. You know, everything's going to be fine. That's my message for you all, is everything is going to be okay. Because <laughs> the weight is lifted off your shoulders. You, because in all of our lives as light workers, we have the whole weight of the world on our shoulders. But can we just shrug it off? Can we just shrug it off and it'll fall off of us and we can finally just allow ourselves to escape that feeling? Or feeling so weighted down... We cannot be happy if we're beating ourselves up. We can't keep doing shadow work and beat ourselves up. Shadow work is very important, don't get me wrong, but when people dwell in it and they keep doing it and they keep beating themselves up, that's not doing anything for anybody. That, you're always going to be in a rut. You're always going to be down in the dumps and be a Debbie Downer. And I know I'm being very silly and funny right now, but it's still serious. It's just I'm delivering it in a way that a lot of you can be like, it's, that's relatable. And it's just, it's not a point of really relating, but it's just having that vibrational relationships and taking a waltz with the creator. Because, you know, when you're dancing, you have to feel it within your soul when you're dancing. But if you tense up, and you're dancing, and then you look around, and you're like, oh, fuck. I'm dancing, and they're looking at me, and I'm, I'm nervous, and I look like an idiot. But if you, if you didn't think that at all, if you didn't feel like anybody was watching you, and you just danced, and you just went with the music, and you were just feeling yourself, you would dance like a pro. Because you were feeling into the beat of the music, but you were feeling into your soul. And that's why it's so beautiful, like when you're dancing with your significant other you're just feeling the music you're just having a good time and that's why our whole life should be like ecstatic dance because we're going with our soul we're feeling it within our soul and that's why it's raw and that's why it's authentic and that's why it's true and that's why it feels really good when we go with that and we live our lives in that way when we go with what's absolutely authentic so it doesn't matter if you can't dance Look like, look like a crazy person. doesn't matter if you can't dance. I didn't think I could dance. But that didn't stop me from taking a waltz with the creator. That didn't stop me. So it's virtually just not letting anything stop your authenticity. When you allow it to be stopped, that's when it becomes negative. That's when you fall out of alignment. That's when it becomes hurtful and suffering and painful because we're going against the grain and we're just hitting our head against the wall and we keep doing it and it's painful and I'm, I'm not saying that I'm exempt from it because I'm guilty of it as well I'm guilty of it just as much we all have our worries we all have our triggers and we all have our healing we all have our releasing within our lives so none of us are exempt and that's one thing I would love to stress to you guys is that none of us are exempt. We're all going through it. 
So we're all having a dark night of the soul. We're all going through it, and that's okay. And I think that's being honest, is that we will have our days where, you know, we need to just kind of chillax and we need to take it easy. And then there's days where we need to be of service and go with the flow. So um, we're going to do a meditation. So if you guys would like to stay on, if you're, bu- if you're very busy, you don't have to. There's nothing keeping you here. Also, I would like to remind you guys, and I'm actually going to go back up to, uh, so if you hear some tapping. I also have some cash links. You can do my $50 special for psychic readings, healings, activation codes, downloads. Um, Also, feel free to share out and feel free to donate. Thank you all for all the likes tonight. You guys have been very uh, good crowd. Thank you so much. Um, I really, really appreciate it when people are engaged and also commenting and also just sending likes and love. And I really appreciate it. Follow YouTube channel, White Wolf the Oracle, Loveline Wisdom, Instagram, White Wolf 4741, BitChute, White Wolf the Oracle 23 underscore at symbol. And also, I have a $50 special for psychic readings, healings, appointments, one hour special. So, for $50. So, but without further ado, we're going to do a uh, meditation about being authentic. So if you need to focus on an object, if you need to go lay down, if you need to get up and dance, if that makes you feel better. Um, But we're going to do a meditation, so relax and take a very big, deep breath. Exhale at your own pace, but allow yourself to empower yourself. Allow yourself to know that you're the source of all things, that you are the beginning and you are the never ending flow of God's source energy. You are that source of creation that embodies everything that it needs to be. And you allow everything to be in the flow and it's not forced And it's not too leisurely, but it's just the right amount. It's just the right amount of frequency, just the right amount of awareness. Because we can pour water into a vase and we can feel like we're pouring it very ferociously. But if we just take our time and pour it the right amount of speed or even very slowly, that we can allow that water, that aqua river flow of God's source energy to trickle down and allow ourselves to be like water because water encompasses everything. Water encapsulates itself. Water becomes the environment of everything. So be like water, my friends. So within this meditation, I also connect with dragons. So we're going to do a little visualization. So I want you to envision a glass of water and the aquamarine dragons from Neptune allow us to have a cleanse of the soul as we're doing this visualization of drinking water. So what this symbolizes is that this is a ceremony to where you're drinking to your abundance, you're drinking to your prosperity, you're you're drinking to your healing and your self-care and your self-divinity and being authentic. So what this is doing is that it's allowing you to cleanse the toxins of your soul and it's allowing you to subtract but also add within yourself because you're allowing yourself to be water and you're allowing yourself to be replenished and be the endless provision of consciousness. So take that glass of water and then I want you to drink it And as you're drinking it, feel as if it is just quenching the thirst. It's just really hitting the spot. And it's allowing you to be so relaxed within yourself to do this ceremony, this beautiful ceremony to where we are able to empower ourselves in such a beautiful way that we are just being clear. We're seeing clearly now. We're just being ourselves. 
and just going to the beat of the music. So also, when you allow yourself to be really free, like you're living life as if you're doing ecstatic dance, that you're really just tapping into your soul and you're also just tapping into that vulnerability and being comfortable in times of pressure, in times of worry, in times that will try to make you feel a certain way or talk yourself out of a future manifestation. But allow yourself to be a calm breeze. Allow yourself to be the eye of the hurricane. Allow yourself to be so calm that you allow yourself to flow through life and you don't allow yourself to restrict how life goes for you because you're finally leading with your consciousness. You're not leading with your mind, but you're leading and drawing your energy from the heavens and you're allowing to draw from God. You're allowing to draw from the Oracle of Love, Light, and Wisdom. And you're just drawing that energy to yourself, your own source of energy. Not anybody else's energy. Not your friend's energy, not your parents. Nobody else's energy, but only your energy. Because you are an individuated creation. We're here to observe and learn and receive from our brothers and sisters. But we are not here to absorb from our brothers and sisters. In the beginning, we become the observer observing itself, but then we become the recipient of energy. We become the reciprocation of energy, the back and forth of energy, the input and output of energy. So we allow ourselves to understand that it is an energetic exchange every day. And allow Jesus to be able to anoint you in such a way to where you are able to speak the truth, live by the truth, and emulate that truth that cuts the tension with a knife, that allows you to deliver whenever you need to deliver, that allows you to be conscious all the time, but it also allows you to have discernment and using wisdom to erase hate, distortion, and false illusions and assumptions. Because Jesus always demonstrated that we can teach in such a way that is very loving, that is very compassionate, but it's unconditional and it's non-attached. So everybody take a deep breath. But think of this meditation as renewal, newfound meditations, newfound manifestations, newfound prosperity and also just allowing to express yourself and to choose your path accordingly with your authenticity. Knowing that being authentic means that you will always have to, in a sense, be so truthful, to be so honest, to be so sincere, to be unconditional, and to have no attachment of how the message is delivered. Because this is grace, and you're carrying yourself with dignity because you allow yourself to maintain your enlightened awareness with integrity.
Allow yourself to see yourself as a child. I'm hearing a lot of you are just waiting for that inner child to come back to your heart. So see yourself around six years old and I want you to spend time with yourself as six years old and see what you're doing. Are you playing in the sandbox? Are you swinging on the swings? Are you just so in love with life and you go to the store and you don't think of price tags, you don't think of all these expensive things at the store and you just feel that flow of abundance, that innocence, that childlike wonder and miraculous and becoming supernaturally organic in the process and allow yourself to pick up that child, that inner child which is you, when you were six years old and allow you and that inner child to be as one. Everybody take a deep breath. Exhale. And I just want you to rejoice in the feeling of this empowerment, the feeling of being authentic, to being raw, to being true, to do what you're led to do, when you need to do it, when it's time to do it. And also just know that it's divinely orchestrated and it's just divine obedience. And it's just answering the call of your life. Don't be afraid to answer the call. Don't worry about the call. Allow all of that stuff to dissipate, to burn away and turn into ash. So everybody take a last deep breath, exhale. So when I snap my fingers, you'll come back to, you'll have a greater sense of clarity, you will know who you are, and you'll become the oracle of love, light, and wisdom, which is God in human form. And so it is. I didn't realize I was over there. <laughs> so, uh, anyway, I did not know that I was over there. It was so powerful. So, um, also, thank you guys for tuning in to um, this live feed. I hope that you guys really enjoyed it and I really was blessed to give this message tonight and have a lot of nice people watch this message and also just the fact that you were receptive and that you sent likes and that you uh, watched and were here and I want to thank you all. Just know that you can find my YouTube channel White Wolf the Oracle of Lowline Wisdom, Instagram White Wolf 4741 and bitshoot white wolf the oracle 23 underscore at symbol and also you can take on my 50 dollars special for one hour uh, i got uh, two links down in the description below and i really appreciate you guys and i hope that it allows you to be authentic and anything that tries to come against you any of the naysayers any backlash or any circumstances that arises just know that you can truthfully be authentic to the core and it does not matter because when God moves on our behalf, 
when God moves on our life in such a big way, it can make such waves and such amazing things happen. So I hope that the people who received that meditation were blessed by that meditation. So, so, um, yeah. And, uh, I love you, Came Insider. I love you. <laughs> so thank you guys so much. This is White Wolf. <laughs> no, I'm not Christian. I, I'm, I'm a psychic. I'm, I do spirituality. So, But I love you, Came Insider, even though I know you don't like me. But I love you. So thank you, guys. <laughs> Good night. And also, uh, I would like to remind the viewers on YouTube and BitChu, these are uh, pre-recorded lives. So if you're wondering who I'm talking to, that's, that's who I'm talking to. So God bless you all. Thank you and namaste.